The third dimension. Predictions for 2022. Any questions? Do you remember the future? Hello, 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 this is Adolf, and this is just a quick introduction to this podcast. Um, I want to give y'all a heads up of some things. So, as per usual, I will be cutting out the 2021 recap, and just giving y'all the meat of 2022 stuff. Um, You should be listening to this in 2023, unless you're a patron, which you get this early. And uh, this this year for 2023, we're going to try to do a few things different. Um, not anything worse, just kind of add on to the stuff we already do. So I wanted to just give you all a heads up on those things that would be different. Uh, first up, I'm going to try to introduce the show and have a um, some things that ne- none of us predicted that are kind of, you know, newsworthy things that are interesting I, I think there are. Um, for example, none of us would have predicted that Elon Musk owns Twitter. Or, um, you know, something basic like that. That, oh yeah, yeah. You know, to get that going, get to get those, that idea flowing. I already told all the, um, hosts that we're gonna, you know, a couple, a week or two ago to start thinking about their stuff. So ideally we have a good list of stuff that's ready to go for y'all. And so that would be like number one would be, um, you know, things we could not predict that happened in 2022, but it did happen. And then toward the end of the show, um, we're going to have dark and or twisted, um, predictions. These predictions are basically stuff that usually I would not want to do. I try to keep things positive and light, but this is a, a different year. Um, and this might be the last prediction show. So, um, just wanted to throw that out there and be, you know, we're going to have some dark and twisted ones where (sighs) you might predict some bad stuff happening. Um, we might predict some death. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of the deal. Um, I know it's, it's, we're going to try to put that to be last because I know it could, you know, kill the uh, energy in the room (laughs) to be kind of negative that way. So not trying to be mean or cruel, um. You know, some people, I mean, everyone's going to die, you know, so it's, it sucks, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's basically it for this introduction. Um, and I hope you enjoy the show. We are going to try to, um, put this podcast up as soon as possible after we record it. So that way we don't have a lag between times where I have, um, edited it and recorded it and stuff has already happened because last year that happened in 2022 we predicted some stuff and it happened before i was able to upload the podcast so we're gonna really really try to have that up but you know it is what it is and you know might record this on a sunday um a new episode for 23 and the you know Okay, well, I gotta start work for the rest of the week, and that'll get to editing until next week or something. And then by then, some stuff has changed, and you know. But I'm gonna try to aim to you know, maybe potentially record on a day that we could um, do things, and then I could edit it right away. So I want to get this turnaround as soon as possible. So um, that's gonna be basically it. Uh, I hope y'all enjoy the show. Now on to the 2022 predictions. And uh, we're going to start off with movies that we are dreading and movies that we are looking forward to that did release in 2022. So it's always fun to look back at this. And, uh, you know, obviously some movies have been delayed into 2023 um, and later. <laughs> or um, so as movies that maybe came out that we didn't know about. So on to the show. Now let's get to what we're looking forward to and dreading for 2022. All right, I am looking forward to a stupid movie called Moonfall. I wish it was 3D. I hope it's 3D, but I know it's not. Good. I don't think it is, but that looks like a dumb, fun movie. It just looks bad. I know. It looks bad. It looks really bad, but fun. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm also looking forward to Fantastic Beast 3, The Secrets of Dumbledore. Um, you know, I'm a defender of the, of the second Fantastic Beast movie. 
Um, but I, I hopefully they use their time wisely to fix things with the script and to tighten things up, and that the, you know this will get things back on track, and maybe they'll be smart and not and just kind of wrap it up and not actually have a four two more movies because it was supposed to be a five movie series and. Um, I don't think the Fantastic Beast movies have made that much money, especially the second one, to justify that. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm looking forward to the Flash movie. Yeah. Um, I am dreading Minions 2 again, Rise of Gru. <laughs> <laughs> as always, as we have for the last two years, I'm still dreading that. <laughs> um, I'm still dreading Hotel Transylvania 4, Transformania. And, um, you know, it doesn't look, this movie doesn't look that bad. But I still don't care about really watching it. Um, the DC Super Pets movie. It looks okay. It looks cute enough. Yeah. Uh, I had a knee a uh, uh, knee jerk reaction to Kevin Hart's reimagining of uh, Ace the Bad Hound, but then I got over myself real quick and said, "Look, they already did a crypto TV series that had my version of the super animals, so I've got that. So see what they do with this, and it's complete different reimagining from." My version, which was God over 50 years ago, most of those characters were created. Um, so I'm intrigued. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look awful. It looks okay. Um, but mm-hmm. I'm, I just kind of think of something to dread else. I don't know. You know, there, the, most of the, the movies I'm actually kind of looking forward to. So I'm not like super dreading this one movie like I did for um, Space Jam 2. So. Yeah. Um, Jake, uh, what movies are you looking forward to in 2022? Uh, the Batman. Mm. Uh, they, they keep the DC train rolling, Black Adam. Okay. Uh, and, uh, Thor Love and Thunder. Um, and then what are you dreading? Uh, dreading? Uh, other than, uh, the Minion movie? <laughs> Uh, I'm dreading, um, not Morbius, because I don't think I'm going to be surprised by Morbius, but, uh, let me look through here. All right, well, uh, we'll let me give you a second to look through the list of movies. Uh, so, Jacob, what movies are you looking forward to? Uh, I mean, I'm looking forward to, uh, Jackass Forever. Uh, that one looks really good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> great trailer. Yes, I want there to be another trailer already, but uh, I'm also looking forward to the other ones that you've stated. Uh, I'm also looking forward to sc- the new Scream movie coming out in a couple weeks. That one looks decent. Sonic 2, I really like the first one. Uh, the Bob's Burgers movie, if it releases this year. Yeah, it's going to be interesting because um, didn't the didn't they fire like the the one of the actors of Bob's because he was part of the interaction? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the guy who plays Jimmy Pesto. So I'm assuming they already recorded that movie and have that to go. Um, so I don't know how they're going to, if they're just going to let that go and still pay him, or, or I don't know if they can edit it out. But I imagine that's going to be a big part of the movie. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. What are you dreading, Jacob? <sighs> uh, I kind of hate to say this because I'm a huge fan of the video games, but the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> I, I really want it to do well, but with Chris Pratt, I don't know. Uh, I'm also not looking forward to uh, this one coming out in a week called the 355. The trailers just make it look awful, and Moonfall doesn't look great either. All right. Oh, and Uncharted. Uncharted just, <laughs> I don't know about it. <laughs> I, I want to see it, but then again, I know it's going to suck probably. All right. Uh, Jake, do you have any other, anything else you're dreading or not? Nah? Oh, I'm dreading plenty, but I'll, we'll limit it. Uh, uh, oh, I'm dreading death on the Nile. Okay. Are you afraid to be eaten? Mm-mm. Yeah, it's partially. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had to make a, one of those jokes, but um, <laughs> I just remember the last time they went through a, a, a cycle of Agatha Christie movies 
the quality just kept dropping. Uh, I was hoping that wouldn't this time because they're sticking with the director running th- apparently, but uh, I'm just dreading it because I, I imagine what they're going to do is they're just going to edit out his character and make the movie incoherent. Uh, I think he's still in the movie. He was in the last trailer. So. Yeah, but I imagine what they're going to do is try to minimize his character to the point of the story, but I could Probably. be wrong. No. And uh, and I'm also dreading Uncharted because I don't think there's he's Tom Holland is way too damn young to be Nathan Drake, and I think this is just going to it's just going to suck. I just don't see how it's going to be any good. I think this yeah. is going to be a, another chaos walking. <laughs> we'll so, see. Jake, what are your thoughts on? Uh... The previous movie, not Uncharted, but the previous um, Murder in the Orient Express. Uh, the the last one, uh, that was good. Yeah, uh, I liked it a lot. Not the, it's not the best version of that ever filmed. I mean, Sidney Lumet is uh, incredible. And then uh, a lot of people don't know this. Alfred Molina was in a TV version of which was really interesting, which I highly recommend checking out if you're an Alfred Molina fan. Okay. So that will wrap up the dreading and looking forward to. Now let's move on to our predictions. All right, now on to our predictions. Uh, Let's do round robin. I'll do one, then I'll give it to Jake, and then I'll give it to Jacob. So um, I'll go first. Um, I'm going to say that Avatar 2 will be the only movie to be 3D only. Mm. You won't have an opportunity to watch it in 2D only. You will only be 3D. You'll only have that opportunity. They're just going to go 100% in. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, I know. but I know, but it would be awesome. I, I don't think it's going to happen, though. Yeah, but we can dream. Yeah. All right, Jake. What's your prediction? First one. Uh, Avatar. T- oh, I'm just gonna swing for the fences. I know it's not gonna happen, but I want it to so bad. Uh, Avatar two is gonna kick off a new craze of 3D. So 3D is gonna be back bigger than ever. All right. Um, Jacob. Well, let's keep the Avatar two train rolling. I'm actually going to predict that it's either going to underperform or it's going to flop entirely. Okay. Be a disappointment, I guess, is a better way of phrasing it, maybe. Yeah. All right. Um, before we continue on, um, you because know, we have no idea about Avatar 2. It's such a wild card. Um, I, I, I feel like we've been talking about Avatar 2 since I started this damn website. <laughs> <laughs> since 2014. Yeah at, this point, yeah, at this point, it's the new Gambit. Or the Gambit <laughs> is the new Avatar too. <laughs> um, so let's get let's get to some other predictions. Um, that these are one from Kristen. Um, and this she said, uh, theaters will begin to go bankrupt as home releases and Omicron reduce ticket sales. Uh, maybe. I think theaters are decent right now. Um. And there's going to be a new era for home theater offerings with 3D. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yep. All right. Our, our patron, Mr. Bengal5, says theaters will temporarily close down again because of the pandemic. It gets worse. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess other parts of the world, but here in America, we ain't closing down crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's. Uh, I mean, I think that is a... Like I said before, like a nuclear bomb, you only get one chance to use it. You can't just be using, you know, lockdowns in America ain't going to work more than once. People are just going to ignore mm-hmm. it. So um, that's just sad. We We're the should... Waffle House of the world. We're not yeah. going to close. Yeah. Especially like Florida and stuff. So on Texas. <laughs> oh, God. Florida. Yeah. Um, so I, I imagine some people will purposefully go out and say, I don't care about no lockdown. We're now... They they did that. They listened the first time. They wouldn't do that again. And other parts yeah. of the world, they're more decent. Um, so we'll see. Um, he says, 
Number of theatrical 3D releases is about the same as 2021. I think that's pretty decent, yeah. Which is kind of sad because 2021 has a small amount, a small amount of releases. Avatar 2 causes a, a, res, a resurgence of 3D, he hopes. And he's looking forward to Doctor Strange 2, Minions, four, uh, Thor 4, uh, Pills and Boots 2, Mission Impossible, and Avatar. Not really dreading anything. <laughs> All right. Um, now, I do want to give everyone a heads up. After we do a 3D, uh, 3D related predictions, we'll have off topic ones too. But we're going to try to focus the first little bit here for 3D only. Um, so I'm going to go next and say Uncharted will release in 3D, but it still flops. Yeah. Yeah, I would say probably. Um, you know, what I determine as flops is, you know, it might make less than 300 million. You know, and, and Sony probably wants that to be a five, six, seven million, hundred million franchise. That's one of their biggest game franchises. That they, they really, you know, they paid top dollar for Tom Holland now. You know, I think they really want that to be huge. So, um, under three hundred, I guess, is a good, a good way. Um, all right, Jake. Uh, Sereno is going to be a surprise minor hit. Interesting. I wish it was going to be 3D, but who knows? Maybe it'll get a German conversion. Is that the Peter Dinklage Cyrano? Yeah. Okay. Everybody I know that's seen it in, uh, at a festival or something said it was amazing. Well, we shall see. I don't know. Uh, Jacob? Oh, uh, for 3D, uh, Okay, this is going to be kind of a bold one. Like, okay, I know Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is going to get a sequel. I think it's going to be in 3D. But I think it's going to be the first animated sequel to win Best Animated Film. Interesting. It will be a big hit. Yeah, that one has a weird title, right? It's like Part 1 or something? Yeah, (laughs) Across the Spider-Verse Part (laughs) 1. It's like, okay, um, that's kind of a weird way to to continue that franchise. But I'm game. Uh, that first yeah. one surprised the hell out of me, so uh, yeah. Mm. All right, so my next one: the Super Mario movie is the biggest video game movie hit of all time, and it is very well liked. So, ooh, yeah, ooh. I, you're swinging for the fences. That's very bold. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna be positive this year. I'm gonna say, screw it. I'm, I've been negative the last couple of years. I'm going to be not positive. I'm, I'm walking on sunshine. I'm on cloud nine. I'm all the cliches you want to use. And I'm being positive this year. Yeah. Let's have a good okay. year. So for me, you can do whatever you want, but I'm just saying for me, I'm tired of being so down. So I, you know, sure. I'm going to be positive. Um, I understand. Jake, what's your next one? Uh, that the Pixar's turning red is going to wind up on Disney plus and not get a theatrical release. Oh, wow. That's bold. Mm. That's a good one. That's interesting. I hope not. It looks really good. Yeah. I mean, if uh, I guess if the COVID is still, re- you know, really bad, Disney may end up doing that. Um, but yeah, because they really they didn't. Yeah. The, the, a couple Disney movies haven't gotten theatrical releases or very, very limited, limited ones. So. And they have kind of been dis- disrespecting Pixar in a way with Luca uh, not getting a theatrical run. So, yeah, that's a really good prediction. I think that's interesting. Yeah, I was swinging for the fences with that one. All right, Jacob? I think in general, there's going to be more 3D releases and screenings this year than the past two years combined. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Uh-huh. We've been struggling. It's been hard. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I could have swore that The King's Man, um, it, I'm pronouncing that differently because it's how it's written, it was going to be a 3D movie. The poster said it, but nothing around us. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, Ron's on wrong. You know, only you had the ability to watch it in 3D. <laughs> we didn't have that chance, you know. I know, of all things. <laughs> yeah, I'm so ticked about that. It's not even funny. So yeah. it's it's just weird how the 3D's been, but hopefully, yeah. All right. Um, I think this might be an easy one to predict, but I'll, I'll go for it. It's uh, um, 
the Lightyear movie, the Toy Story spinoff is going to make a billion. It's going to just make a ton of money. I hope so. That comes out on my birthday, and I want it to be a billion dollar movie. That'd be a nice present. Every Toy Story movie has become a billion dollar movie. <laughs> I think. Yeah, almost. <laughs> yeah, I just am hoping it's 3D. I think so. Yeah, that's going to be my prediction. It's going to get a 3D theatrical release. Yeah. Okay, I'm uh, I'm not 100 percent right. Toy Story One made 373 million. Um, which I don't know, adjusted for inflation, that might be a billion. I don't know. And Toy Story Two made four hundred ninety-seven million. So adjusted for inflation as well, maybe. But Toy Story Four and um, Three both made a billion. So mm-hmm. I think it's a pretty easy thing to predict that a Toy Story related franchise will be big. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jake. Okay, I predict. Aquaman is going to get uh, delayed. Okay. Uh, mainly because I don't. I think they're going to decide uh, because Warner Brothers has had such a bad year before. They don't want to risk Aquaman getting cannibalized by the audiences going to see Avatar too. Fair. That comes out the same day, don't it? The sixteenth of December. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Um, I'm going to say the opposite, that Gatsy gets pushed up to be like August yeah, or something. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> nope, yeah, yeah, you stole it, my prediction. <laughs> yeah, it, it could very well get pushed up, but I'm saying it's going to get moved. Okay, yeah. moved or delayed? You have to pick one word. <laughs> moved. Okay. Because it can go forward or backwards with the word moved. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, well, moved, I, I, I think we all agree on that one, that that's going to yeah. move. Uh, but yeah, because you originally said delayed, but now moved, I I'm think is good. I moved. That way I double my chances of being correct. Yeah. yeah. If it moves a day, you win. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. But if it stays put, I lose. So does Warner Brothers. <laughs> All right, Jacob? Uh, pretty easy one. Uh, Top Gun 2 is finally going to come out. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh yeah uh imagine that because it's just it's been like three years <laughs> yeah so yeah I, I i hope so i actually kind of looking forward to it um i know tom I, I i know he's weird but damn it i like his movies so yeah tom 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 I'm not like best friends with him. I should be saying his name, <laughs> first name basis like that. But you know, no, Mr. Cruz, <laughs> Mr. Cruz, <laughs> just like a Spider Man, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Strange. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna say that Puss in Boots gets moved. The second Puss in Boots movie. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a second one coming out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know when the hell it's going to come out, but it gets moved. I don't know if it's ready to go, and they, it's just in the you know DreamWorks lot that uh, the the DreamWorks vault, and it's just whenever they hit play, it's ready to go or what. But we haven't heard anything about this movie. We just heard no. that it's coming out apparently in twenty twenty two. So it's like okay, yeah. I guess I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm my prediction about. Uh... Puss in Boots is it's going to get it's going to go to streaming. Ah, Peacock original. <laughs> uh, yeah. Universal's Crackle. Mm-hmm. Yep, because they don't want to be Crackle anymore. No. Okay. And this won't, and this won't have any effect on that. <laughs> It'll just be buried, because I think uh, Omnicron is going to become a bigger thing, and Parents aren't going to want to take their kids to the theater. Yeah. Okay. Is that your next prediction, or do you want to have another one? Yeah, that's my next prediction. Okay. Jacob? Okay. Um, I think the Batman is going to be the best overall comic book movie, but Doctor Strange 2 is going to be the highest grossing one. Ooh. It's really interesting because you have no idea if Doctor Strange because Doctor Strange made some money, but not it wasn't yeah. a huge hit, and it is out there um, for general audiences. Mm-hmm. So 
but I think there's a lot of interest with it. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how the Batman does. Um, all right. My next one is, all right, this is another easy one, but I- I'll, I'll go ahead and say it. Apple will officially announce their a- VR headset to come out. Um, or they'll officially announce it, give them information about it. And it's been rumored for like a year or two. And, it actually comes out and it's actually really awesome. It has a lot of support. And so yeah, Apple VR goes into the VR officially. Okay. All right, Jake, what's your next one? Uh my next question is I think uh Black Panther two is gonna bomb. Wow. Ooh. And I think it's gonna be a critical scrubbing. It's gonna get a rotten. Wow, Ooh. that is two bold ones there. Uh, I mean, the first one made a billion on its own, and it was loved. I know, I'm, I'm hoping I'm wrong, but every every bit of news that comes out about this movie it gets sounds sounds like worse and worse. And it also and also the the arguments over whether the character of T'Challa should be recast or not. Mm. And the delays and the changes, and I just, it just seems like a recipe for disaster. I'm sure they'll pull through. I hope so. I'm, a, this is one I'm really hoping I'm wrong on. Yeah. I mean, Chadwick Boseman is so awesome. It's going to be hard to have, you know, explain that away, one, and then who is going to be the new one? Is it going to be um, his sister um, or not? We don't know. She's and the actress who plays her has been fired. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting, Shuri. Yeah. Yeah. So, are they going to uh, uh, recast and refilm, or are they going to just edit down her yeah. character? What are they going to do with Shuri? Is Shuri going to be recast? I mean, is this going to be a um, Don Cheadle situation? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he even warned her, because that's how he got the job. <laughs> His Terrence Howard got fired. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, we haven't seen anything about this movie, and it's still supposed to come out this year. And mm-hmm. it's kind of shocking, um, considering how big of a hit yeah. the first Black Panther movie was. Mm-hmm. All we got was a name, Wakanda Forever. Yeah. Which is a good name, but, you know. Yeah, so. it's a great name. All right, Jacob. Um, I think there's. It's just going to be not movie related, really, but I think there's actually going to be PS5 sold in stores this year, and there's going to be plenty of them. <laughs> I hope so. The backlog ends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll keep with the video game that Nintendo will officially discontinue the Nintendo 3DS family of systems, and the online will die this year. And that's that. It's going to just be done. Uh, officially. Our, I hope not, but yeah. It sounds it sounds about right. All right, Jake? Hmm. I guess one more movie predict, 3D prediction. Uh, I would say we're going to have a onslaught of uh, vintage uh, 3D uh, home video releases. Cool. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, and a lot of it's going to be fired up because um, a lot of guys are si- are hoping that Avatar Two is going to bring b- bring the format back and and create interest, and also they're going to be motivated by people have systems still, and there's a demand, so they're going to strike while um, they can strike. And the reason I'm thinking this is possible is because Flesh for Frankenstein actually got released. And I didn't think there was a shot in hell. Cool. All right, Jacob, you got another one or no? Uh, I think I got one more. Uh, I think Fantastic Beasts three, uh, whatever the subtitle's called, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I think that's going to be the biggest flop related to anything Harry Potter related. The Secrets of Dumbledore. No one's going to care. Of Dumbledore. If the secrets yeah, are no, no one. Yeah, yeah. no one's going to show up. Yeah. I mean, if that is the case, then the Harry Potter franchise is basically dead in the water. <laughs> yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, I think they're still talking about doing the 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 play into a movie that is theoretical possible. I think. Um, what, what is the play called? I think. Is it the Cursed Child? I think so. Yeah. That might be doable, but if if the third one fa- uh, falls fails, it's gone. I, I don't think they're gonna make a fourth Fantastic Beast yeah. movie. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, I I think if uh, if it flops, Discovery might make like a, a something for HBO Max. I mean, I'm like the Wizarding yes. World TV series. Yeah, yes. like why? Yeah, I'm like going. Uh, why <laughs> do we have an HBO in it? Why is there more than one HBO? That's what I want to know. Mm. All right, so such a pain in the ass. Yeah, I mean, Warner Brothers kind of messed all that up, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, the Fantastic Beast Crimes of Guernaval, the second one, made $654 million worldwide, which, hey, and now money, that's pretty good, but, um, mm-hmm. you know... 2018? Was, yeah. Yeah, it was, like, poor. Yeah. yeah. Now, the original Fantastic Beast in 2016 made 800 worldwide. So yeah. it was less yeah, than. That's... So all right, I'm going to double down on two of the previous predictions because I think you know those maybe were too early on. Um, that Jurassic World Dominion is going to be totally insane, but a lot of fun. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, yeah. the whole I, Jurassic I, World I... series has been crazy to a degree. Yeah, it's the dinosaurs that drive it, and the dinosaurs are what's interesting about it. Yeah. I mean, this one's gonna finally have dinosaurs on human land and taking over cities and stuff, and whatever the hell that's gonna be. I don't know. (laughs) Well, is it wrong of me to hope a dinosaur chomps uh, Chris Pratt? (laughs) (laughs) I want to be the one he trains blue, just gives in and eats him. Yep. (laughs) Yeah, Kind of like uh, Samuel Jackson in Deep Blue. Yes. Yeah, that's my prediction. Uh, Chris Pratt gets eaten in Jurassic World 3. <laughs> <laughs> and I doubled down on that. We don't yeah. care if it actually happens. We just yeah. want it to. I just want it to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm doubling down on Little Mermaid Trader being released and looking really good. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, Jake, do you have anything else you want to pull out of your butt? To, or no? Uh, oh, here's one. Uh, they're going to gender swap uh, the Submariner in the Marvel movies. Ooh, that's interesting. Mm. Okay. So we're going to get Namora instead of Namor. <laughs> that's fair. Will she still have the little um, wings on her feet? <laughs> yep. And the pointed ears. Okay. All right. Um, Jacob, do you have anything other else 3D related or do you want to move on to non 3D? Um, I think I got one more. Um, I think Mephisto is finally coming to the MCU either in the 3D movies or the series. It has to come out sometime. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's been teased forever and people have been wanting it. So, yeah, maybe. I, I think. Yeah. We're in a situation now where Marvel can make decisions and be like, I don't care if China doesn't want it. <laughs> you know, yeah. Shang-Chi made plenty of money without China, and Spider-Man has already made a billion without China. So they mm-hmm. don't need China anymore. So no. they could just say, screw it. We're going to do the show. We're going to do the movies and TV shows we want. Whatever, whatever. I do what I want. And if they don't like it, that's too bad. You know? Yeah. That's, and that's good. They shouldn't be you know, pigeonholed to have to pander to one country, even though if that country has a billion people or whatever, you know, they should yeah. be able to make the art that they want to make. Exactly. Mm-hmm. All right. So, so, uh, so is your prediction that uh, Hollywood's going to stop sucking uh, China's boob? <laughs> <laughs> um, and I wouldn't say that prediction, but I- I'm thinking oh. that they feel more comfortable now that they saw that movies can be successful without China. Um, okay, yeah. that's fair. Yeah, we've had a billion dollar movie without any input from Chinese box office. Yeah. 
Um, all right. Now let's get to some overall culture, world events, news predictions for 2022. All right. This first one. I mean, some of these are things I want. So if it doesn't happen, well, you know, I don't get what I want always. But, you know, I have a decent record on predictions. So this one's small potatoes. This one's small, small, small. Not earth-shattering aliens will come to earth kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Taco Bell brings back both the volcano tacos that it had before and the lava sauce. And mm. brings back the flaming hot taco and then releases them as the flaming lava tacos. Interesting. Do you guys remember the uh, volcano tacos and the flaming yeah. hot tacos? Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, back when Taco Bell food actually had real flavor. <laughs> I love that volcano sauce. The lava sauce, delicious and hot. Love it. It was pretty good, yeah. And mm-hmm. then the flaming hot uh, Cheetos uh, flavored taco was like super hard to get. Like I got like one or two, and then it was like we're sold out. We're sold out. We're sold out. So maybe <laughs> they'll fi- finally figure it out and just bring them together and make that flaming lava hot taco. Um, and it's gonna have the flaming flavor of you know flaming hot Cheetos and the volcano so- vo- lava sauce from a couple years ago, maybe ten years ago now. They they brought that lava sauce and the volcano tacos back once or twice already. So yeah, yeah that's gonna be uh, my first non three D prediction. I know it's kind of stupid, but small. But I want that <laughs> so badly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jake, what's your first non three D prediction? Okay, uh, the the chicken sandwich wars are over, so we're gonna have a um, taco war, food fast food war. Oh. Okay. Do you want to guess the meat? <laughs> N- no, because most of tacos, we're not going to know what the meat is. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be that generic pink slime, whatever it is. Yeah. All right, Jacob, you got a non-3D one? Yeah, actually, uh, I think instead of a taco war, I think it's actually going to be like the impossible beyond beef wars. It's going to expand into all these fast food joints pretty fast. Interesting. Especially yeah. since the price wise, because of the increase in beef, those type of uh, uh, plant based meats aren't so pro- expensively prohibitive. Yeah. Like, because there's so many companies now making them, they're going to have to be competitive and lower the prices. Uh-huh. So. Yeah, and, and, and some of them are actually good. Yeah. Yeah, I had the Burger King Impossible Burger, and I thought it was really good. Like, maybe yeah. 80% as good as a Whopper, you know? And yeah. I, I would, like, eat that and not feel like I'm really down, you know? It's not like a huge downgrade. It's not like going from drinking a regular Coke to a Coke Zero caffeine-free, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah. that's already started, but, you know, I, I definitely think McDonald's and other big chains will continue it. And I think that's going to be interesting to see that mm-hmm. be into play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, another COVID variant pops up. Yeah, it's a certainty. Pretty much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And how- yeah, yeah, we're going to get uh, Omega. This year. We're gonna get COVID uh, Omega this year. No, well, that's a that's really down in the Greek alphabet. Now this one, I, I looked at the Greek, Greek alphabet and I looked at the calendar and I saw a perfect harmony. Okay, it's so cute and so clever. I hate it, but I love it at the same time. So I have to predict it. So the next letter in the Greek alphabet is. Pie. So <laughs> this is gonna come out on March fourteenth, Pi Day, or around March fourteenth. Dazzling display of logic. That'd be cool. That would, yeah, really show there's a synchronicity in the universe. <laughs> yeah. And COVID is truly our overlord. Yeah. <laughs> so the Pi variant of COVID comes out on or near March fourteenth of twenty twenty two. 
That's the prediction. And I think that is a fun, cute, kind of crazy one, but it works. Yeah. Yeah. Mine is by December uh, 31st, <laughs> Omega hits. <laughs> we were, it's, it's weird because, like, we went from Delta to Omicron. I was like, where the hell are all the other ones in between? <laughs> <laughs> well, some of them were for political reasons. Because they didn't want to, and a variant with the same name is uh, their leader in China. <laughs> that, that makes sense. Well, I know they're like, I, I saw ones about new or something, and then like, I saw headlines about it, and then it went away. And like, some of yeah. the variants just don't go anywhere. Like, they pop up, they exist for a week, and then they're gone, or a month or something. Yeah. Could you imagine the fun we could have had with Gamma? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every Turn up in the Bruce uh, Banner up in here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We would have had fun. All right, uh, Jacob, you have another one. I think with uh, you know the pills coming out and potentially more vaccines, I think we're going to finally level off with COVID. That's going to start decreasing significantly. Okay. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm not. I'll add on to that, but I have another one before that. Um, I will okay. say that the pandemic ends in June after second booster shots are given. Ooh, I hope so. Well, I'd like to have I it see. end in June. Yeah, that would be nice, but I don't think so. But it's, yeah. I'm, hoping, I'm hoping you're right and I'm wrong. All right. Uh, here's another one that is cute and number fun. Um so I'm going to say something very interesting. I'm going to leave it vague because I have no idea what the hell it's going to be. But something very interesting and or fascinating will happen on either February 2nd or February 22nd at either 2.22 a.m. or 2.22 p.m. Okay. Because all the twos will line up. <laughs> It's 2022 on February 2nd, on 2022 at 2.22 p.m. or a.m. Uh, somehow, some way, it's gonna, something's going to interesting going to happen on either one of those two dates. Or times. <laughs> or both times and, and dates. And I hope it, it's not another insurrection. Ugh. Yeah. Because, um, you know, numerology says that it's like um, feminine and empathetic and sensitive. I don't know what the hell that means compared to this, but... I'm just going to be, I'm just saying it's cute and that, you know, all the twos are going to be something interesting that happens on that day that we weren't expecting. Yeah, it's going to be a holiday and they're going to call it Tuesday. Ba-dum-bum, ba-dum-bum. <laughs> yeah, tip my waitress. Oh. <laughs> and I'm here all week. <laughs> Try the oh. feel. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so February 2nd is on a Wednesday, but February 22nd is on a Tuesday. Ooh, dum 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 dum. So, so yeah, you know, maybe February twenty second, or you know, just throwing that out there. All right, time um, to go to your Costco and get your uh, food supplies in case the world ends. <laughs> yeah, something. It's gonna just be something. I don't know. Um, no. All right, Jake. Hmm. Let's think of something. Um. Uh, oh. Uh, Sparks is going to get nominated for an Academy Award for Best Song. Oh, okay. Who is that, or what is that? Oh, Sparks is this band that's been around uh, for... Yeah, next year is going to be their 50th anniversary as a recording band. And uh, they've just... They're the band that's kind of influenced everybody. And uh, they released uh, a musical this year, uh, Annette. And Edgar Wright did a documentary about them called the Sparks Brothers. Oh, yeah. Okay. Those guys. Yeah. I remember that documentary. I know. And, and people think that uh, Edgar Wright was pulling everybody's leg, that it was his version of Forgotten Silver. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Uh, Jacob, you got another one? Uh, not at the top of my head, no. Okay. I, I got... A couple more, so um, like I said, I'm going positive here. Um, inflation, gas prices, and unemployment go way down worldwide, and the, by September, the U.S. unemployment rate will be 
at 2%. Ooh. That's Yay. pretty solid. Yeah. That's come through. So it would be a, a golden age of, like, people were like, oh, my God, I didn't know we could go to 2% unemployment, you know? So are you saying the roaring 20s are going to be kind of making a comeback? Yeah. All right. And um, so it's going to... If people were thinking it was going to be last summer, it's actually going to be this summer. Hmm. All right. Uh, Jake, you got anything else or no? Uh, I'm going to go out on a, on a limb and swing for the fences and say that uh, members of the Trump crime family are going to be indicted for events dealing with January 6th. Interesting. I hope that, that will it will it will it go anywhere? Probably not, but I think they will at least be charged. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, Jacob, you got anything else or no? I okay. Uh, I think I got one more. The midterm elections. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a blue wave. Unfortunately, I think it's probably going to swing closer to the red this time. Okay. To yeah. be a Debbie Downer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that is theoretically what usually happens. So yeah. it's foreseeable. Okay. Um, I'm going to stay with this positive train for now. <laughs> the worldwide yeah. supply chain issues will be fixed by June. Oh. All right. Y- anyone else got anything or no? I'm going to keep going. You oh. can keep going. I no. can't think of anything else. Jake? Oh, here's a here's a silly one. Uh, I predict that uh, Filipino uh, food is going to become a new, f- a real popular food craze. Okay, that's cool. Mm. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a great cuisine. The rise of Jolly Bee. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we need more <laughs> Jolly Bees in America. Okay, <laughs> that is a very reasonable thing. Um, I think Jolly Bees are like, really starting to get into America, and I've been really wanting to go to one, but I haven't. Had a chance. Yeah. Uh, Same. I know, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because the, the closest one to me is just outside of Seattle. Wow. Okay. Uh, Jacob, you don't got anything else? I'm good. All I right. can't think of anything. If you think of anything, you say, say something. But, um, all, right. all right. So this one is not positive, but it's 100% realistic. <laughs> Again, me shooting fish in the barrel and doing the most obvious thing possible. So, Afghanistan becomes a total disaster of a country, and the UN will call on other countries to help, but nobody cares. China Mm. helps, but only to get resources out of the country, and doesn't do a damn thing to help any of the people, and everyone just writes off Afghanistan, because everyone learns from the US and Russia and all of the history of the earth who, and you don't go in Afghanistan because you stay in Afghanistan. So we're just going to, you know, as a world, we're just going to write, just say, screw it. Let them be, let them die off, which sucks. It's horrible, but it is what it is. Yeah. Well, I think that would uh, increase a rise in more pot, potential, more terrorism than mm-hmm. we've had in years. So that's, yeah, it sucks. Of that. It sucks. Yeah. It's very realistic. Other, the other th- other scenario I can see happen is Putin really marches in and drops the hammer and sends mm. shockwaves throughout the entire region. So another Afghan war. Yep. Yeah. So I think either way, we're, I, I think we're going to get a, another Afghan war. Jesus. I'm, I'm betting that Putin's probably going to go into the Ukraine at some point this year and try his best to get the Ukraine. Mm-hmm. I hope not, but okay. yeah, I I think he's going to too because uh, the world's going to be distracted by fighting COVID even more. Yeah, I'll be the only one that says no. He he backs away. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. But I don't think he's going to. He, he's very stubborn, and he's essentially president for life now. So mm-hmm. yeah. All right, I'm gonna go back on the positive train. <laughs> Um, a watered down, even further watered down, Build Back Better bill passes eventually this year. Ugh. 
Yeah, it, it's something. It's yeah. done. He gets Biden gets his win, but it's it's still really watered down for what it was. But it gets it, and uh. Uh, federal election reform watered down, of course, and <laughs> police reform again watered down. But all of that gets passed and signed into law by Biden by the Fourth of July. That's fair. It's gonna be those are three big parts of legislation that are going to get done. Now, they're going to be victories, but they're going to be a 6 out of 10 victory at most. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, we should get a lot of stuff done in election reform because I'm very worried about election reform um, than the U.S. But I think something, I think it's just going to be too much pressure and they're going to get something done on those all those three ends. And so, yeah. Jake, you have any thoughts on that or no? Don't know. Um, look, I'm looking at your, I'm looking at your critter in the elected office there, Jacob. A lot of it's dependent on how he behaves. Oh God! Like I wish he would just fall in line or something, but or, <sighs> or change parties. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. All right, Jake. You got anything else or no? Uh, here's one I'm hoping that the Kardashians are no longer a thing and they crawl back in their holes where they come from. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that they're, that yeah, that the TikTok generation is like, you're basic, go away. Fingers crossed. All right, Jacob, yeah. you got anything else or no? Uh, I kind of got a positive one, especially related to Adolf. Um, I think that Ted Cruz is going to lose uh, his election as senator. Well, that's not going to be for a while because Ted Cruz isn't up for a while. <laughs> oh, I thought it was this year. I'm sorry. Well, crap. Never mind. <laughs> uh, okay. G- Governor Abbott is this year. Oh, okay. I, ha- I have a prediction that if he's up for re-election, there's going to be a Democrat in the office. Uh, okay. Beto. Beto I- is governor. That would be awesome. <laughs> Beto okay. O'Rourke. All right. Yeah, All right. Beto O'Rourke. That's that's going to be interesting. Um, Beto is definitely one of those that have, if anyone has the best chance, it's him. But I mean, still, it's always going to be an uphill battle for Democrats yeah, to win yeah, Texas. It, it, mm-hmm. Yeah, and isn't uh, Stacey Abrams also isn't her election for governor? Is yes, it, she's running for yeah. governor of Georgia, isn't it this year too? Yes. Yeah, I think she'll probably win. She has a good shot. Yeah, she knows how to get the vote out. Yeah, I mean, look at twenty twenty. Yeah, Georgia's one blue. Yeah. Mhm. Yeah, and I didn't see that in a shot in hell, and she did it. And she did it, so I have no doubt she has a. She's probably going to be governor. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have another one prediction, Jake or Jacob, or do you want me to keep on going for me? We keep on going. All right. Democrats keep control of Congress and actually gain in both the House and Senate. And this is partially because of COVID deaths. That there, there's so many COVID deaths that th- there's not enough Republicans out there to win. And by the t- by the end of the year, there's so much positivity going around that people really like Biden and Democrats. And it's it's the one time in uh, you know or the one time the weird kind of you know sometimes they say that it doesn't happen because the blue moon happens because like. Um, Bush had 9-11, and then after 9-11, he gained seats in Congress. This will be the blue moon, and that COVID you know, will get in control, and Biden's going to gain support in 2022, and it will be like, oh my God, this is a big thing. Everyone's going to predict that the Republicans gain huge gains. Nope. Democrats keep control and get a little bit more in the House and Senate. Oh, that's a well, bold, so. insane prediction, but I'll, I'll I'll go by it. I'm positive. I'm I'm doing. I'm I'm very happy. This. <laughs> All right. Enough politics for now. Um, I have another one that's just insane, just crazy, just you know, culture. You know, culture. It's weird. You never know what the hell's gonna happen. No. Suspenders become a new hot trend because TikTok celebrities make it a thing. <laughs> All right. You know, suspenders has been around for like 200 years or something, and no one's been using them except for Urkel. Nope. They're going to come back in style. That'll be the new style trend of 2022. Suspenders. <laughs> mm. 
What do you How about uh, Quibi making a comeback? <laughs> <laughs> Pull that one out of my ass. <laughs> All right, um, that's a prediction we'll, we'll, we'll put down on the pencil for you. We'll, we'll pen it All down. Right. <laughs> pencil it in. Yeah, Quibi and Crackle join forces with a couple other streaming services to to try to overthrow to take at least uh, Warner uh, HBO Max's spot. We'll call it Quackle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll be it'll be NBC buys out Qu- uh, Sony and then or not M- NBC Universal and then Sony and then Peacock and all of it together. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a little Transformers. Uh. Okay. Um, now I have an opposite one. Um, instead of coming together, um, something big will be broken up. And Ooh. that big thing is meta. Ooh, man. I would wait for the day for that to happen. And yeah. What's that? Sorry, it's, its name is Facebook. It has to show ID and proof of name change before it can change its name. So, so <laughs> what's every person on Facebook? WhatsApp and Instagram will be bought up instantly by other companies. Mm. So it would just be Facebook and Facebook Messenger. And um, so WhatsApp is going to be its own thing and Instagram will be its own thing, but they'll be owned by someone else. Someone's going to jump on that once they get broken up by the government. Uh, maybe Apple would buy Oculus for their VR tech if they release it this year. Yeah. Yay! And I, could <laughs> see Twitter, and I could see Twitter owning Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know who would buy up WhatsApp, but maybe – I don't know who who does Telegram. I don't know who does that. Uh, maybe a Chinese company would buy up that. Yeah, the people that own TikTok will buy up. Yeah. Um, I'm going to stay with your prediction. I think instead of Meta, I think it's actually going to be Google who's going to be broken up. Oh, okay. Um, what did they break it up to, though? I mean, they have the search engine, and then what else? Well, I mean, you got Android. You got... Oh, okay. I mean, you got so many things. You got the phone division. You got the Chromebook division. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Google Maps is almost its own thing. Google yeah. Earth. Google Earth. All right. Um, this or is not... it's going to become, or it's going to become Meta versus Google versus Amazon. Yeah, they're going to rule the world. <laughs> All right. This is this is going to piss off a lot of people, and this is not positive. But it's it's inevitable. Cryptocurrency and NFTs fail big, and most people mm-hmm. walk away from that whole thing. It, it, it just the creator it craters to complete nothingness. All of them. <laughs> yeah, well, the gas fees are gonna. I mean, right now it's just it's just money laundering because of the fees. Yeah. Yeah, it's it. I don't think it's going to come down all the way, but I think the government's actually going to start regulating cryptocurrency this year. Different governments, yeah. I think, that, I think that's yeah. going to be a global thing. Different, co- yeah. Because there's been too many frauds, like yeah. Squid Game and stuff. Yeah. And th- those NFTs are just garbage, you know? Yeah. yeah. Money laundering, like I said. Yeah. Um, like, I can imagine that somewhere, some you know, maybe Obama... You know, ask someone to buy a bunch of crypto of uh, was that Bitcoin when it was nothing, and then Biden sells it to pay off debt, and then people are like, "What?" And then like he he pays off the national debt or something with uh, all the money because he's you know you don't know how the Federal Reserve works, and the Federal Reserve bought a whole bunch of crypto, and now that it's a big amount, they cash out and pay down the debt and bada bing, bada boom, crypto dies because they're like, wait, the government was inside. No. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be interesting. No, I think yeah. the, if the, the government, how it is, they'd probably invest in Dogecoin before Bitcoin. And well, yeah, you know, I, I give Obama credit if, for being, when it, being in there right when it was starting. And, you know, right. he, he did stuff that people didn't know about. And, you know, he, they didn't tell Trump. They just kept it. And Biden was like, okay, let's cash this <laughs> what puppy. What is Bitcoin? 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, I think eventually crypto is going to be a thing, but I think it's, but I think you're right. It's going to crash and burn. Uh, I think the main reason that's holding crypto back is because people want a currency. They don't necessarily need to hold it, but they don't want to buy something and it's point oh 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 of the zero zero nine seven blah blah blah. Uh, they want it to be like one of this can get one of this, or ten of this can buy two of that. Or so on. Yeah. They want it in whole numbers that they can grasp, and you can't do that with Bitcoin. It's like yeah. monopoly money because it's in such fractions. All right, guys. I think that's going to be a wrap for the prediction show for 2022. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, no, I bet. Yeah, and we got nothing. <laughs> We're out. Yeah. We're, ta- We're, We're tapped on out. We're on fumes. Yeah. Our, our prediction yeah. powers will be sealed for another year. Yeah. All right. Um, let's wrap up the show with a nice saying for us to have to to start the year off. Let's have I hope the best for all of us, for all of you, uh, for Jake and Jacob and all the listeners and all the patrons. Hope the best for twenty twenty two. That this year will bring you good fortune, good health, plenty of love, joy, and happiness. Yeah. With that, we'll close up the show. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. All right. Before this podcast wraps up, I want to thank my patrons. Thank you, Mr. Bungle5, Kano3D, Gravity Head Zero, Alex Folk, and Kevin Winter for your financial support on Patreon.com. You can find 3D or 2D on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, and more. Just look for 3D or 2D. Thank you for either listening or watching this podcast. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye. Update, uh, before we finish uh, uploading and editing this podcast, we have updates and things that have changed. And um, two predictions have already come true. Do you guys know which ones those are? Talking re- talking Red, or not Talking Red, uh, Turning Red? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Trump. Mm-hmm. So, uh, classic Jake, uh, you said that talk, uh, turning red will go to Disney Plus, and this week Disney announced that via Twitter. Mm, sad. Yeah, considering uh, the trailer for this looked good in 3D. Oh, you watched it in 3D? <laughs> I, I briefly saw it. I saw it in Rumble. Shall be in the vault of 3D things that may exist, but. Maybe never. Again. Yeah. <laughs> like Soul. Yeah. Yeah. What is it with Luca. Disney and Pixar? I mean, it's Pix. Yeah, Disney's dumping everything uh, straight to streaming and uh, not giving them a 3D home video release anywhere in the world. Or a theatrical uh, release. <laughs> I, yeah. I mean, ki- kids' movies have been doing particularly well. That's probably why. Mm hmm. But of all studios, you would think Disney would respect the art of animation, for God's sakes. No, I mean, the thing they, is... They, they let their own movies get a theatrical release, though, like in uh-huh. Canto and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Uh, if I was Pixar, I'd be really pissed right now. I'd be suing. <laughs> uh, I would not be surprised if that happened. Of course, I think Disney owns them, so... but I they mean, may, yeah. But they might be saying, well... Uh, we're tired of being owned. We want to be partners or we want to be with somebody else. I mean, that's kind of what I think is going on right now or should be going on right now mm-hmm. because uh, Pixar, I mean, this has got to be killing morale. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, they're I mean, probably not getting any bonuses from theatrical release or anything like that unless they revive their. Uh, yeah. And turning red, this was this uh, woman's her first full length feature. You know, this was directed by the. By the woman who brought us that short film, Bow. Yeah, the that was a good one. Everybody, yeah, the one that when I saw it at the theater, everybody gasped when the mo- bit the bow. Spoilers!
Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, you know, they might pull a Black Widow and, you know, sue from within and, and say, hey, we had a contract that's going to be a theatrical release and mm-hmm. win because <laughs> uh, Scarlet won. Or, so. or they might say, if you want good ideas. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because if I was if I was working at Pixar, I'd go. I'd be looking at how long my contract is, and and see. Uh, do I have to come up with ideas, or just sit here and twiddle my thumbs? And I'd sit there and twiddle my thumbs if I could get away with it instead of yeah. actually creating something. Because you never know, Morbin time can happen any time. <laughs> it this has got to be disheartening. I mean, this is three in a row. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Um. Here's a fun statistic. Um. So. We got the second uh, uh, Adam's Family movie got a theatrical release, but Luca did not. Shame. Yeah. Clifford, Clifford the Big Red Dog had a theatrical release. At the same time uh, as, as Paw Patrol, Patrol movie, the movie <laughs> got a theatrical release. At the same time, it got on Paramount Plus. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I mean, yeah, it's not Disney. It's a, diff- it's a different studio, but damn Disney. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it, I understand maybe like second tier movies, you know, but yeah, this is first tier and it, it's sad. It's really sad. And I have heard stories of morale and Pixar is down to hell because, you know, they work hard on their movies and for the most yeah. part, their movies are fantastic. Yeah. And uh, they've uh, and they've been through a rough patch. I mean, with the whole John Lasseter thing. I mean, that has got to be the ultimate bummer morale killer. And then mm-hmm. this on top of it. I mean, damn. Yeah. And then the second uh, prediction that has already come true is, is kind of a weird one because I don't see anyone talking about this. And this should be like global news, but it kind of just came and went within an hour. And um, Classic Jake, do you know what we're talking about with Trump or no? Nope. I haven't seen – on uh, podcasting days, I very seldomly see any news. Um, so on the 3rd of January, the Associated Press has said that New York Attorney, Attorney General subpoenas Trump, tr- uh, Ivanka, and Trump Jr., and they have subpoenas uh, to forward them. And, uh, Jacob, you said that he's going to get subpoenaed, and this story is just buried. Like, I've never seen it, on, I haven't seen it on Politico, I haven't seen it on MSNBC, this wasn't, like, breaking news. I just saw it, and it said, oh, cool, and then gone. And it's never talked about, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it happened. So, hey, good job, guys. <laughs> Two predictions right. <laughs> Before it even gets posted. Of course, then my big prediction last year got uh, canceled literally at the last minute. Well, you know, last year you did say that Amazon was going to buy MGM, so that did happen. So Yeah. 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 And uh, uh, but the but the but my big one was it wouldn't be a billion dollar movie, but um I'm uh kind of glad there was at least one, maybe two because we there's one in China we don't know if it's if the numbers are valid or not. Yeah. Um. So sorry that um I haven't been able to edit and post the podcast yet, but hey, I just and it's nice that we have this additional section to the podcast. Uh, to talk about and add to it, so... Oh, man! Yeah, pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, uh, you know, that's, that's part of the fun of recording on January 1st. We had that luxury <laughs> of <laughs> having everything in front of us, so... Hopefully before I recorded, before I uploaded it, another news prediction doesn't to come true, but we shall see. I know there's been new variants of COVID, like the, um... But I don't know if there's, like, completely new variant... Um, I don't know if you heard of the Delta Cron. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, so it's like the mix of Delta and Omicron. Um, oh, nice. So, yeah, that's not terrible, but <laughs> it's not completely different enough to be its own variant, but it's a combination of the two worst ones that's happening. And, and a lot of numbers are skyrocketing with Omicron right now. So it's kind of crazy. Yeah. And it's also, um, triggering croup and kids so i guess that's going to be croup on mm. so take care out there uh be safe um try yeah, to be, wash your hands wash your hands um you know don't don't suck on your fingers don't suck on your fingers that's a great thing to end on jacob <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
<laughs> or, or don't suck on any other stranger's fingers either. Mamma mia! Uh, I mean, I wasn't doing that before the pandemic. Unless you have consent. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, and don't rub your eyes without without washing them first. Even if you are fully vaccinated and boosted, it might be a good idea just to continue wearing a mask. <laughs> um, yeah. That way you don't get it. Um, so, you know, it doesn't hurt that much. It's not that bad. I mean... Yeah, social distancing is still a thing. Yeah, yeah. We shall see if 2023 this thing continues. <laughs> With a sour note, uh, we're ending this podcast. Bye. Again. Bye. Bye. Again. Bye. Again. Again. <laughs> Again.